something much bigger than a new electric vehicle model is quietly taking shape. Beneath the usual chatter about range and acceleration, the real story begins where every journey starts. Inside the battery, lithium-ion carried us through the first chapter of electrification. But it also brought fire risks, fading capacity, and supply tensions that were hard to ignore. Tesla's 2026 aluminum-ion design begins an entirely new chapter. One focused on safety that quiets headlines and endurance that can outlast the car itself. The question is no longer about who makes the fastest sedan, but who builds a battery people can trust when the road turns hot, cold, long, or rough. If you want straight, deeply researched tech coverage, help us keep it coming. Tap subscribe to push Torque Element to 2,000 subscribers and turn on the notification bell so you never miss the next detailed analysis. Now, let us open the pack, follow the heat, and see why this chemistry could mark the end of lithium ion. How does Tesla's aluminum ion battery completely eliminate fire risk? Once and for all, we choose electric vehicles for a cleaner future, for savings, and for smarter technology. With lithium, the trade off feels too big. Safety is always a concern, never knowing when it might blow. But Tesla has the answer. They are designing a battery pack that does not use the flammable liquid electrolyte found in lithium batteries. Nothing to burn, nothing to ignite. The core material here is pure aluminum, which brings natural advantages that graphite, silicon, or lithium carbonate never had. Superior heat resistance. Lithium starts running into risk once temperatures pass about 120 degrees Celsius. But aluminum keeps working perfectly in the 200 to 250 degrees Celsius range. That is essentially double the thermal safety window. There is, however, a major change no one is talking about yet. The aluminum cathode superstructure Tesla is testing from the third quarter of this year. Why does it matter? Instead of a flat closed cathode like in traditional lithium batteries, the solid aluminum cathode is designed as a honeycomb lattice of thousands of tiny hexagons. This three-dimensional honeycomb increases the cathode surface area five times and spreads heat about 40 times faster than lithium. Aluminum now stands up strongly to heat and even cools itself naturally. High temperatures are no longer a threat. This technology achieves absolute safety with a nanoceramic coating only 0.5 micrometers thin, about 1 100th the thickness of a human hair. This coating smooths the cathode surface, letting aluminum ions flow evenly. That means no more traffic jams of energy that turn into hidden hot spots and eventually explosions. This structure wipes out the battery industry's worst nightmare, dendrites. Those tiny metal spikes that grow inside lithium cells puncture separators, triggering shorts and fires. With aluminum they simply do not appear. No complex cooling systems, no heavy protective shells. The battery itself is the safety system. Tesla removes danger at its source to protect drivers. The ultimate benefit is peace of mind when driving an electric vehicle. Fire risk is 99.3% eliminated, even if the pack overheats or takes a strong hit. That is especially significant for drivers in America's hottest regions. Arizona deserts, Death Valley or summer roads in Florida and Texas. Long trips become easier when you never have to worry about hidden shorts inside the pack. Driving continuously for 12 to 14 hours in temperatures of 110 to 115 degrees Fahrenheit, with actual surface temperatures between the car and road reaching 90 degrees Celsius, will not overwork the aluminum batteries. They will never exceed 60 degrees Celsius, blocking every scenario of swelling, sparks, or fire. In Tesla's internal crash tests, fire risk of aluminum ion batteries drops to just 0.05% meaning only one in 2,000 packs caught fire under extreme collision conditions. They are roughly 50 times safer than typical lithium-ion batteries, which have a fire risk of about 2.5% in similar crashes. With a lithium battery, friction and impact forces can spike cell temperatures to 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. Once separators rupture, flammable electrolyte leaks, metal sparks fly, and the worst-case scenario begins. With aluminum, Cells rise only to 70 to 80 degrees Celsius in the safe zone. Even if they break open there is no liquid fuel to catch fire, no chain reaction spreading flames. In the same situation where dendrites inside lithium would trigger shorts and explosions, aluminum cells simply stay in place, warm slightly and keep everything under control. Can you imagine Tesla's aluminum battery wiping out lithium and all its risks we have been living with for years? If you are waiting for this technology to bring absolute safety to your family in every long road trip in America, drop a zero fire risk in the comments to show your excitement. Next, how Tesla turns fire into a non-event at the pack level with aluminum ion batteries. Once the danger of combustion inside each cell is eliminated chemically, 
the next factor for real-world safety is ensuring a single failure cannot escalate into a full vehicle fire. This is where Tesla's design stands apart. It is not only safer in principle, it is engineered to fail safely in every likely scenario which actually protects families on the road. Every micromodule inside the pack is wrapped in a thin aerospace-grade barrier that blocks heat transfer and channels vented gas into a dedicated dual-channel exhaust spine. If a cell vents, microfuses open automatically in about 4 to 6 milliseconds, cutting current in that lane before heat can spread. In abuse tests mirroring the SAJ2464 nail penetration procedure, Local peak temperatures reached only 82 to 88 degrees Celsius and fell below 60 degrees Celsius in under 90 seconds, with no ignition in adjacent cells. Rapid electrical isolation and directed gas flow stop a thermal chain reaction the moment it might begin. The next layer suppresses thermal propagation at the pack level. In trials, Tesla intentionally overcharges a cell to failure inside a heated module where ambient temperature is 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. Because the aluminum honeycomb cathode and nanoceramic surface shed and spread heat so effectively, no neighboring module exceeds 45 degrees Celsius, and the propagation index remains zero of six compromised modules. Lithium-ion packs often rely on bulk liquid cooling and heavy armor to achieve a similar result, whereas the aluminum pack acts as its own firewall. Three-dimensional thermal pathways and a non-flammable electrolyte ensure that heat dies where it starts. Controlled venting further improves safety. Since aluminum ion cells do not use carbonate solvents, there is no pressurized fuel mixture ready to ignite. Tesla's side vent manifolds limit peak gas flow from a single event to less than 8 liters per second and dilute it in a subfloor exhaust. Cabin safety simulations show peak carbon monoxide and volatile organic compound concentrations stayed below 20% of the levels observed in lithium ion incidents, while smoke density remained under 0.2 inverse meters. Visibility stays usable for evacuation. Passengers gain valuable time to exit safely. Tesla's crash logic also reacts faster than the human eye. An active isolation switch on the high-voltage loop drops pack potential below 60 volts in roughly 8 to 10 milliseconds when sensors detect airbag-level deceleration or underbody intrusion. Combined with arc-proof bus bars and gel-filled feed-throughs, post-impact arcing is almost eliminated. Internal sled tests show the likelihood of post-crash fire is about 0.03 to 0.06%, roughly 40 to 80 times safer than legacy lithium-ion packs tested under similar pulses. Instant depowering and arc suppression remove the ignition source, which removes the flame front. Finally, the design accounts for everyday road abuse such as debris strikes, tow hook mistakes, and curb impacts. The tough skin tray spreads puncture loads across a larger area, reducing local strain by 55 to 60 percent compared with flat trays. In underbody tests at 35 km per hour, internal temperatures rose less than 12 degrees Celsius, and the pack self-recovered to normal operation after isolating the damaged region. In practice, this turns damage into maintenance rather than headlines, which is the standard that matters most for daily safety. How does Elon Musk's battery last longer than any other battery on Earth? Most lithium-ion batteries in current EVs like Tesla Model 3 and Model Y are good for about 300,000 to 500,000 miles, dropping to roughly 80% capacity after that point. The process of going down from 80% to 50% occurs over the next 100,000 miles. Musk's aluminum battery rewrites everything we know about battery life. Now it is 3 million miles. The battery pack can last a lifetime. What? Aluminum ion fixes the weaknesses of lithium electrolytes. In lithium-ion batteries, carbonate solvents evaporate or break down with each charge cycle. Solid deposits form on electrodes, making lithium ions harder to move and gradually reducing battery capacity, the classic battery fade. Aluminum-ion batteries use gel polymer electrolytes with very high boiling points of 300 degrees Celsius. They do not evaporate at normal pressure and do not form solid deposits, limiting capacity loss over time. Fast charging at high temperatures above 70 degrees Celsius does not wear out the battery. Aluminum ions move more freely, enabling ultra-fast charging without overheating. Lithium-ion batteries can only fast charge at 3 to 5 C, but aluminum-ion batteries handle up to 100 C, reaching 80% charge in 3 minutes and 100% in under 5 minutes. With only a few minutes per charge and non-volatile electrolytes, aluminum batteries can survive 20,000 charge cycles, 3 million miles, and still retain nearly 90% of capacity. Americans drive about 12,000 miles per year on average. 
This means an EV with this battery could last roughly 200 years of driving. Seven times the lifespan of a Hyundai Ioniq 5 used daily for 30 years, and over 11 times the lifespan of a 17-year-old Chevrolet Bolt battery. Is this the end of lithium? With safety and longevity clear, the bigger picture comes into focus. The end of the lithium-ion era is no longer theoretical. It follows a sequence that begins with safety and reshapes economics, infrastructure, and consumer behavior. Insurance reacts first, as aluminum-ion packs show roughly 50 times lower fire probability and non-flammable venting, reducing premiums by 14 to 22 percent. Logistics also benefits. Lithium-ion packs ship under Class 9 dangerous goods rules, raising costs and handling time. Aluminum-ion packs are safer, lowering ocean shipping by 120 to 180 United States dollars per pack and air shipping by 1.8 to 2.4 United States dollars per kilogram. Lower shipping costs let factories ramp faster and reduce working capital in transit. Building codes adjust for higher density charging and parking. Fire codes account for worst-case flame spread. With reduced fire risk, underground parking, residential towers and large-scale fast charging stations face fewer spacing requirements. Early policies already recognize chemistries with near-zero flammability. Developers can save 6 to 11% of initial capital on EV-ready buildings. End-of-life recycling favors aluminum. Over 97% of aluminum is recoverable through established smelting and electrolysis. Lithium-ion black mass often yields 70 to 85% with toxic byproducts. Lower hazardous inventories reduce environmental closure bonds and shorten permitting, making aluminum ion cheaper and faster across the full life cycle. As premiums drop, shipping eases, codes unlock, recycling improves and energy revenue appears, procurement shifts from chemistry preference to spreadsheet outcomes. Internal scenarios suggest lithium-ion share falling from over 90% today to below 50% by 2030, with aluminum-ion and other non-flammable chemistries taking most new capacity. All these forces begin with safety. Safety removes fires. Removing fires changes economics and regulation. When both shift together, market share follows, and the lithium-ion era ends in practice, not just theory. The shift is inevitable. By removing fire risk, extending lifespan far beyond today's norms, and rewriting EV economics, Tesla's aluminum ion chemistry changes how we power transport. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.